So welcome back everyone. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jamie and this is my wife Nicola. And we've been doing YouTube videos for, what, six, seven months maybe? Um, and so typically on our channel we have a lot of content on our dogs and on our puppies. We breed English Springer Spaniels and Welsh Springer Spaniels. We also own a two acre piece of property out in the country where we are attempting to be more self-sufficient and uh, trying to do the home setting thing. So raising some chickens and raising rabbits and also planting our own fruits and vegetables. Well, not fruits, I guess, vegetables. So we thought we would do a video on how Nicola and I met. So Nicola and I, we actually met online, um, on an online dating site, and I think your sister made your profile or something for oh, you, Oh my goodness, yeah, she did. So I could have killed her. She decided she was going to make this profile page and not tell me about it. She goes on and she, like, I think it was winking? Yeah, wink or nudge. Wink or, or nudge, whatever it was. And she, she did, like, eight or nine, nine guys on that, and she's like, oh, don't kill me, but I made this page for you. So then I... Yeah, I was, I, from my perspective, <laughs> I didn't know, obviously, that Laura had winked at everyone. So I saw this super attractive girl that winked at me. And, and any men who are on a dating website, you know that typically <laughs> women aren't the ones winking at you or trying to get your attention. So I was like, ooh, this is awesome. So I think I, I ended up messaging you or, or something like that. And yeah, and then we exchanged our email because we were on MSN at the time. So we would exchange yeah, the MSN days and go and talk on MSN and, instead of doing it through the chat. <laughs> So we obviously we ended up talking for quite a quite a while, quite a, a period of time. And Nicola is from Scotland. For those that don't know, she's from Scotland, and she was going to be coming over and visiting a friend in Canada. So she had shared that with me, and of course, me <laughs> being interested in more than a, a friendship, and Nicola not really being interested in more than a friendship. I had to get creative in how I was going to be able to spend some time with the wee lassie. So she was visiting with her friend. So I said to her, well, why don't you just come over and, and we can hang out for a couple of days. I think it was like a three hour trip or something to yeah. drive and pick, pick her up. So I drove and picked her up and it was funny. I remember knocking on the door of her friends or knocking on the door of her friend's house. Her friend was the one that answered the door, and I'm like, oh, hi, uh, I'm Jamie, is, uh, is Nicola here? And um, she's like, oh yeah, one second. And so she brings me in the house, and down the, at the back door, Nicola is outside playing with the dog. That should have been a sign, right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you do like dogs. I love dogs. So, I mean, a lot of times I love dogs. Yeah, so, of course, Nicola, being Nicola, she wasn't ready to go. And um, so we had to wait for Nicola <laughs> to get ready to go. So then we made the drive back and brought her back into town. And yeah, we spent some time, did some events and stuff. And yeah, went across the border, got some, um, what did we get? Oh, what was oh, it? Golden Corral. Golden Corral. We got the Golden Corral. Is Golden Corral still? I think it's gone now. I'm not sure. Last Make a comment down in, yeah. in... If you're from the States, tell us. Yeah. Is Cross still a thing? Because we really love that. Yeah, we haven't, been, or we haven't been down there in a while. And now with COVID, all of the border yeah. is shut. So we used to love yeah. Golden let us know down in the comments if, if Golden Corral is still a thing. <laughs> love the Golden Corral. <laughs> yeah, so we went to Golden Corral, waited at the border. It was... Oh my gosh. It was probably an hour, hour at and least. a half before we got across. And Nicola kind of yeah. made fun of my, my attire. I think I had a go... <laughs> Golf shirt on and track uh, pants. Track pants, not the track pants that we would call. They weren't like a cotton. They were like a and sandals. And sandals. <laughs> Anyways, I had just spent a lot of time on the missions field, so I, you know, that's what we did in Africa. We we weren't all dressed up. We just kind of wore what <laughs> what we had. So, Grabbed a shirt, a pair of pants, and something on his feet. Yeah, <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> yeah. So 
Anyways, I, at the time, that so the two or three days that you were there, I think it was two nights, three days, and at the end of it, I was just loving having Nicola there. And so I had suggested, I said, well, why don't you, why don't you stay for another night, and we can go, we can do some <laughs> other things. And she's like, oh, well, no, I better not. I better get back to, back to my friend's house. And, and the funniest part about this is that I just hadn't brought enough clothes with me because I left my main suitcase at her house, and I just brought a couple things for a couple days, and I was like, oh. Oh, well, I don't have my stuff. <laughs> of course, well, you didn't tell me that. But <laughs> no, I didn't tell you that. We certainly could have went to Giant Tiger. I, know, I never even thought about it. Walmart. <laughs> being so embarrassed, being like, I don't have enough clothes. What am I going to do? Yeah. No, I should go back. <laughs> so, anyway, so she went back to her friend's house, and we always say, you know, came as a friend and left as a friend, and... I was, I was upset. I wasn't uh, too happy about that. I, I really I really cared for Nicola, I really did. Um, I thought there was something really special about her and um, yeah, so I was really hoping to spend some more time. But anyways, so she ended up going back to Scotland and then I think it was, how much time had went by? A, a week? I don't even think it was as long as that. Yeah, so it wasn't a crazy amount of time. Less than a week anyways. In that time period, I had just, I had basically said, you know what, we've talked for months and months and months. Um, I've, you know, I've tried and things just aren't progressing. Things aren't going anywhere and I think maybe we'll just, you know, I'll, I'll admit defeat. And uh, yeah, so then Nicola messaged back and says, you know what, Jamie, I just, you know, after I got home from Scotland, I just, I really feel as though I want to date you. And so I'm thinking, oh, great, well, like, now you're in Scotland. <laughs> and so, like, up to that point, like, I'd never held her hand, I'd never kissed her, nothing. It's a big old girl move, eh? We just wait till the last minute. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, so then we, we kind of ended up dating online and yeah. talking back and forth more on MSN. I think you created a Facebook profile yeah and he was down in Nicaragua so we did the really long distance thing yeah Came yeah after Nicaragua. I had started dating I uh, led a missions trip of I think there was 12 youth to Nicaragua or Ni Nicaragua I can't roll my R's still can't Nicaragua Nicaragua <laughs> and then um, yeah that was for three months ended up coming home in December it was probably beginning of beginning to m probably mid December mm -hmm. but a week before Christmas yeah that's right because I come over the beginning of December. Yeah. So he decided I was going to come over for Christmas and his mom and picked me up at the airport. So I spent a few days with his mom and dad while he was in Nicaragua. <laughs> yep. And then so they were there with, I think I had flown into Flint. That's right. It was Flint, Michigan is where I flew into. Yeah. And I remember getting off the plane, carrying my suitcase and Nicola was there. I was like, oh. And I remember saying to your mom, my legs are like jelly. And she thought that was hilarious. I don't know if she'd just never heard of it before, but my legs were like numb and I was shaking. I was like, my legs are like jelly. She just yeah. thought this was so funny. <laughs> yeah. And so then I got to hug her for the first time yeah. <laughs> in the airport. So it was pretty, pretty sweet. Pretty nice. Yeah. So then, yeah, another first. I guess we had our first kiss in the back of my parents' car while they were driving us back. Your per parents. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they know about that. Sorry. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, drove back. Actually, we stopped. We ate at Golden Corral We first. did. We went to Golden Corral. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Or not funny. At the time, I remember eating at Golden Corral and just seeing how much food was there and the amount of food that was wasted and people just piling, piling food on their plates. And just, I remember feeling like disgusted almost because you're down in a third world country, you see the, uh, how little people have. And here we are, we're, we're so blessed as a, you know, as a nation, the US or, or Canada. And we, we, we take it for granted. And when you're down on a mission trip for quite that amount of time and you see the things that you see, you don't take it for granted. So that was fresh in my mind. I remember thinking that. And so, anyway, so we came back to Canada, mm -hmm. spent some time. I think you kind of got to know my family. Yeah. We got engaged. It was on Christmas Eve. That's right. Christmas Eve of 
It would have been 2008. That's right. It was. Yep. So Nicola had a flight booked to go back to Scotland early January. Mm -hmm. And then we made the decision that I was going to go to Scotland as well. Because at that point, Nicola's parents had never met me. Uh, they had spoken to me. I, I had asked her parents if I could marry her. It was through a, a telephone, through a pretty, not a great quality telephone in, in Nicaragua. <laughs> you actually had these booths that you would sit in to make your phone call. And Nicola's mom, I think, was in the upstairs and her dad was in the downstairs or vice versa. And I had asked if I could marry her. And they had some questions for me. And so I must have passed. <laughs> and so, so we Please ended up... that girl in you. <laughs> well, that came later. So I, we went, yeah. went, flew to Scotland. It wasn't together, though. Nicola already yeah. had her flight booked. Yes. And I ended up... Mine was direct. And he, it was, what, a hundred bucks cheaper or something like oh, that? Oh, if that... I think it might have even been less to get a connecting there, there was a, a money yeah. savings there and yes. money was an issue I, I hadn't worked for quite some period or I was working I just wasn't getting paid <laughs> um, so money was yeah. tight so I took a different flight there was a connecting flight uh, flew into Heathrow flew into Glasgow spent some time with her parents her brother her sister got to know them her dad uh, is a carpenter as we would call it in North America or a joiner in Scotland okay. and we were putting in I think we we're putting in a fairly large size window and he had needed my help that day just to kind of lift it into place and he had a screw in his mouth <laughs> and he was talking to me and and not only is my father-in-law Scottish but he is also from the Orkney Islands so his accent is even more broad and so not only does he have an accent, not only is he from the Orkney Islands, he also had a screw in his mouth. And so he's talking to me and he's grilling me. Like, I can't remember exactly what was said, but he was grilling me. Like, to the point where I was just, I was like, oh. I think he was, like, he was talking about, like, okay, well, like, you're on the missions field, you don't have a job, what are you gonna, you know, what's your plans here? Which I totally understand. I want to make sure his, his wee gettle is taken yeah. care of. And, but, yeah. I just remember not understanding what he was really asking and it was taking some time to process it, but... <laughs> yeah, I remember being so surprised. My, my dad did what? <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah. I said, he did? <laughs> yeah. So. Now, as a parent, it's funny because you go, you know, I'm glad. I'm so glad that you did that. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you're on the receiving and you're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> What's going on? So, yeah. yeah. So then, um, then what? I ended up flying home. Yes. A few months later, uh, you flew back to Canada. We, we had known that we were going to live in Canada. Mm -hmm. And so we had done, I've done all of our research on how we can get the immigration done. And yeah. uh, we got married in September of 2009. Yeah, so he came back and he dealt with all the, like planning the reception, planning food, planning all that kind of stuff for the wedding. And I just kind of did all the details and what I wanted and then I said oh, okay here how do you make this happen <laughs> yeah so it, it came good. together really well it did we did it quite like I said money was a yeah was what well, we didn't have a plentiful amount no, of money the, the wedding we were able to do a small very small, small budget, budget. Yeah. yeah how many people did we have there I think we had about 16 maybe 70 people yeah still maybe, still yeah. a fairly good size good size yeah and, but we just did things we just kept tried to keep it simple and tried to save money where we could yeah we had a piper yeah we did piper there that was great that was awesome <laughs> yeah we were married overlooking the lake and it was beautiful it was very nice it was very nice yep yeah. So yeah, that's kind of how we met and the, the beginning stages of our marriage. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed that. I know typically we would have a lot of our, our puppy homes and, and people coming into our home and we'd be able to share a little bit about us and a little bit about you. But with COVID, we haven't been able to do that. Hopefully you guys have noticed a difference in the picture quality. So our camera has arrived. So here it is. So this video has been a little bit different from our normal, but if you uh, like this video, give it a like. And if you're interested in following us along as a, a breeder of English Springer Spaniels and Walsh Springer Spaniels, or if you're interested in the homesteading life and want to follow us along as we journey into that world, then hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you join along. Until then, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>